Hi guys, it's Adam from Revolution Fitness. I'm just going to talk today about ankle mobility. And if you are lacking in ankle mobility, it means when you do anything like a squat, your, your knees can't go far enough forward, so you sort of end up into this position, which is like sort of And then to compensate, what will happen is you'll end up sort of squatting like this, where you really hinge and lean forward, you'll end up reaching forward in this position and driving up. So we want to improve that, that ankle mobility so you can drop down into those hips a bit more, the knee comes further forward, and we can drive back up. It's just a, um, an easier, a more efficient position. So, what do we need to do? We need our ball, or our tennis ball, or whatever it is that you've got at home. You can use a rolling pin. All right, we can just put that down on the ground, grow over around the bottom of that calf. Like, oh wow, all right? And then when it's really sore, we can just floss through it by doing that up pointing toe up and down position. All right, we can then make our way up the calf. We're gonna go right into the back, just like so. Okay, and really work on, yeah. Loosening that out. So again, two, three minutes there. Then what we can do is we can bring that leg down on the middle and we just work away. We've got a shin bone here. We just work our way up the shin bone. Nicely, yeah, that feels wonderful. Okay. Then we bring the ball, take it into the back, drive in, pull that in, all right, and we'll just move that knee through, which again feels great. Okay, I would also recommend doing some work on the hamstrings and the glutes and the hip, because they can be another reason to make it just a little bit harder to squat in that, uh, in that efficient position that I showed you at the start. Okay, so hamstrings and the hips as well. Anyway, work on all around those calves. Once we've done that, we can stand ourselves up. If you're, um, if you're doing this at home, you can use a door frame. If you're coming to the academy, again, you can do it pretty close to for a session and use these. We drive that, the ball of the foot right up real high. Do you see how close my heel is to that, um, to that uh, support beam there? You can use your um, door frame at home. Now, we just really, really sink back and we forget about the ankle. All right, I now want you to imagine that you're focusing on the hip. We drive the hip forward there and now I can really feel it in the calf. All right, so focus more on what the hips are doing than what the ankle is doing. Now from this position, I just wanna push the hips out, making sure that the foot stays nice and flat, push the hips out, drive them up a little bit more, back and forth, just like so. Moving around again. That's it, really push those hips out to the side um, and really feel that stretch down the back of the calf. Okay, now the reason I want to push my hips out to the side is because when we squat in that nice position, we should be pushing our knees out slightly, so we're simulating that knee out, externally rotated, strong position. All right, so um, yeah, ball on the floor, rolling that all in around that bottom of that Achilles and the calf, making our way up to the top of the calf. We're sitting down, getting it behind the knee, all right, while sitting down and just wriggling the knee. Then we um, follow down the side of the, of the shin bone, then we're up onto our support beam or our door frame at home, driving the hips forward and really increasing that range. Do it all one side, then test, see how a squat feels, see if you can feel the difference, try a couple of lunges or something, and then go on to the other side. All right. Any questions, you can email in, um, to email into your coaches, or if you're coming to the academy, you can just speak to one of your coaches when you need us. Okay. Hope that helps, guys.